It's like uh, I got a call from the studio, and it was like, "We're gonna do you doing your album, Does When They're Family," and I was just tripping like. Uh, they're like Bun and Pimp here, man. We're gonna do a song for you on your album. I jumped, sprung out the chair. You'd have thought they had springs that pushed me out of the chair. Yeah. Jumped out of the chair, jumped in my car, hauled ass uh, to the No Limit Studios and knocked out Down South Slanging, which is slanging with UGK. Yeah. But, uh, same niggas, your motherfucking time to shine. We gonna mix this shit up with Bun B and Pimp C. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Come on, man. We can talk about this music, man. This Trill Talk, no Peel Talk, man. This guy right here, number one blogger in, the t- in Texas. Oh, he gonna put us out there, you know what I'm saying? I know how to get on his page. I just bring him on the show. Right. He gonna repost <laughs> us all day long, you know what I'm saying? The whole conversation, because he think he got some good questions and answers. Oh, no, nah, I don't usually give you now. You, that's yeah, over with. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm saying? You just gonna sit here and act right today and talk okay. to these guys, man. I heard you, man. How you doing, Trill Talk, no Peel Talk? Man, I'm good. How y'all doing, man? Say, man, we're going to get into the music. This dude here is a music guru. Mm-hmm. He studied both of y'all. I ain't never seen nobody can break it down like him and GD down there, GDP. These two guys right here is my number two. One and two, how I go to different, I'm in Louisiana and Texas and Mississippi too. He right there on you. Whatever yeah. he doing, he done seen it. So we about to get into it, man. You being from that no limit area, you being from the UGK era, you know what I'm saying? Listen, man, we hey, we love y'all, bro. So we about to get into this music, man. So you, how did you first link with uh? Uh, UGK, Pimp C, Bon B. Um, short story even shorter. Um, I had a friend that rapped from Crystal Springs, Mississippi named Telly Funches and he was a part of a group called the Black Knights. They got a deal with a guy named Cal Burden out of Lansing, Michigan, Crazy Cal Records. And so, me, I was in the streets but these were my partners that I hung with and you know, they wanted me to come for one reason or another. Short story even shorter, we got there and we did the EP. And he had a little son named Calvin Jr. that was crying and he wanted to do a song, but you know, he's a child, nobody's paying attention to him. So I just took, you know, like the kids, and we made a song. And um, they listened to the song, they were like, you all really do this for real. Like, no, and the name of the song was like the first song I ever made called A Pimp Mac Hustler. Okay. But I put the, his son in the intro. You remember the old Tootsie Roll Park? Come on, man. Yeah. Murder, murder. I made some street stuff to that. We came back down south, and uh, they had a club called Underground in Jackson, Mississippi, and just so happened the Underground Kings was coming to the Underground. So I had a, a packet. You know, back then they used to put the, the photo, the cassette tape, you know, and I put a little weed in there that I had from Michigan that nobody <laughs> knew was existed yet. So I, you know, gave it to uh, Stokes. St- shout out to Stokes, Kevin, mm-hmm. uh, Kevin Stokes Club promoter, show promoter, Mississippi. I gave it to him, and he gave it to them. And so, you know, back then they had the pages and whatnot. We riding around and working on the pages. And he asked me to come to the club. And so when I came to the club, I'm thinking, okay, somebody wants some of this good new weed I got, right? And so when I got there, big security guard dude, I look up, come on, whoa, whoa, whoa. I go out to the back, <clears throat> I get in the limousine, okay, let me see. I get in on this door, it's a girl here, it's a girl there, it's a girl there. Bond is over there on that seat, Pimp is here. And so they were listening to the music, right? Smoking. Me, I'm thinking they want to smoke something, I'm still on trying to get my money. <laughs> so I pull out some extra, got the girl, she rolling it up. And he played the songs, and um, he played the song I did with the little child. He was like, well, who is this? And he said, man, that's Jim. You want to come to Texas for a couple of weeks? Yeah. But I had to ask my mom because I was in college, right? Um, I ended up going for two weeks and ended up staying two years. And, Ooh. you know, I moved in with Pimp because I was from Jackson. So I stayed with him two years, and in that process, I learned how to produce. He showed me a lot of stuff about the music. Because I, I have a, a, a way with words, like, you know, double entendres and whatnot, if you will. So a lot of the times when we was in there creating, I was able to help him with hooks. You know what I'm saying? Like the policemen are your friends. Yes, sir. Stuff like that. You know, I was there. Just sorry, like one day, yeah, I was there. Because we shared music. I had my own talent, but not like his, you see? And he helped me enhance what I was doing. Wow. So... 
That's how that's how it began. The first song that UGK had ever had was a hit was the front back side to side. Yeah. And that is what led me back to Mississippi to the jealousy and the resentment and the jail time. Yeah, so we gonna get into that. Wow. Yeah, mm-hmm. I want I want to hear about that. But I, you said something earlier. You said that you were some kind of way cousins, 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 cousins with, cousins with which Bunch one, Bun or Pimp? No, nah, or somebody on the nah, camera. DJ Lil Daddy is known as okay. Baby Lil T. Ba- okay, right? and Lil Daddy yeah. used to come down. To it's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was, yeah. My mom was and, like, um, um, Baby T. Um, your brother Kevin. This is cousin. You know what I'm saying? And um, and my my brother had different fathers biologically, but my dad, rest in peace, you couldn't tell him Kevin wasn't his own. Already, that's the way it be. Um, So um, he was like, he let me come around. It just so happened that uh, little daddy would go hang out by Devious and meet by Devious, and uh, UGK be meeting him over there. I didn't have the honor of meeting Smoke at the time, but it it was Bun and Pimp. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like a a, just a man, a student. And how were you? I had to be anywhere between 12 and 14. Wow, you were very young. Yeah, and I was just a kid in the corner just listening, observing. You know, I just knew this was a Soaking group. up game. Oh, man. Like, That's what they call man. it. Oh, but you were having that game too, man. I, <laughs> I, was, I was writing, you know, but I, I wasn't like, you know, I wasn't, you know, uh, busting nothing for nobody. Yeah. I just loved it so much, and I just was just chilling. Like I said, soaking up game. And, um, and uh, my cousin was like, he used to hear it. Baby T used to hear it. Lil Daddy used to hear the rhymes. Yeah. But past that, I just was out of respect. That was, you know, I'm going to just be quiet, let these men Damn. do the thing. And I was telling Bun earlier, I was like, you, you know, before I can finish it, he was like, he said, I'm saying, like, you know, you just never know who's going to be who. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, oh, my God. Years, years later, um, bro, I was in the tattoo parlor. Uh, about to get No Limit Records tatted on my arm, right? Mac had, Mac had just got out. Shout there. out to Mac. Shout I out to Mac. Mac Phillips. Sure. He um, just got out the chair. I got in the chair. It was like, uh, I got a call from the studio, and it was like, we're going to do, you're doing your album, Des and their family. And I was just tripping like, uh, they're like, Bun and Pimp here, man. We're going to do a song for you on your album. I jumped, sprung out the chair. You'd have thought they had springs that pushed me out the chair. Yeah. Jumped out the chair, jumped in my car, hauled ass. Uh, to the No Limit Studios and knocked out Down South Slangin', which is slangin' with UGK. But, uh, same niggas, your motherfucking time to shine. We gon' mix this shit up with Bun B and Pimp C. Part of UGK, you know, smoke wow. was there. And, uh, yeah, bro, like, it, uh, it all is super trippy to me, you know, to this day. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you do have choices. Yeah. You know, God will protect you. The ancestors will definitely protect you. Right. But you gotta play your part, too. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.